Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lance and today I want to discuss something that's been holding me back for a few years now and that's that's fear. Maybe fear has been holding you back recently, um, but I know it's played a major role in me advancing my life to where I want it to be, right? Um, so we all know what fear is, whether it's fear of heights, whether it's fear of, you know, asking that person out on a date, whether it's fear of taking that leap of faith to starting a business. I mean, we, we all know what fear is, right? Um, and yeah, I've always had the fear of maybe starting a YouTube channel or the fear of trying to start my business um, and fear of being like failure, right? So um, we all don't want to fail, but we have to understand that failure is part of the process. Like once you fail at something, you learn from it and then you keep going. Um, you only fail is the only way you fail is if you quit, right? So if you do something and it doesn't work out, if you never try it again, then then that means you fail because you, you stopped trying, right? I'll take you back to, I want to say it was the year of 2018. Um, the beginning of 2018, I started really getting into wholesale and real estate. Um, I had did a lot of research, did a lot of, um, you know, educating myself, really dive or dove into it. And it took me about two years to actually close my first deal. Um, and I say that because I didn't quit, right? I had a lot of things going on. Um, my son was born that same year, um, January 2018, he was born. Um, and then my father, my second son, our second son, he was born in September of 2019. So, and in between, there was a lot of other things that were going on, uh, but I'll cover that in a, in a later video. But I didn't quit, right? I went on a ton of appointments. I paid a lot of money in marketing. I had a bunch of cold calls but I was determined to close that first deal, at least that one deal, right? So I didn't quit. I mean, again, it took me about two years. Um, I started beginning of January of 2018. That's when I really got heavily involved in it. And then I didn't close that deal until December of 2019, like early December. And the crazy thing is it was right before Thanksgiving of that year. So November of 2019, right? It was maybe like a week or two before Thanksgiving and I didn't have any type of lead, right? So I was kind of almost at like my breaking point thinking that I wasn't going to do it. But out of nowhere, the guy that I had been spoke like speaking to and, uh, you know, building that relationship with him, helping him, speaking with him on a daily basis, he told me, I'm ready to go. Like, I got to sell this house right now. Is the price still, you know, is it still there? So keep in mind, he told me this. He reached back out to me the early of November. Um, but I hadn't heard from him since like September because he basically told me September that he didn't know what he was going to do. It was going to be hard for him to move from, you know, his current place to another place. And he just wasn't sure at the time. So to me, I chalked it up as like, OK, well, you know, I may not be able to close the deal with him. I may not be able to help him at all. Uh, so just keep going. But like I said, it was literally, you know, two weeks before Thanksgiving. I was you know, kind of at like my breaking point, like the point to where I was about to just give up. You know, I had tried since the year before, no solid leads, no closings, and I was just about to give up. But he called me out of nowhere and was like, hey, Lance, we got to get this going right now. We got to stop. You know, well, we got to we got to stop playing around. And, I, you know, I've got to go right now. So we ended up closing that deal um, like early November. I mean, not, not November, early December. So that's that's what I mean by you, you can't quit, right? You got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. Um, I didn't fail because I didn't quit. I didn't stop. Although I was about to, in the end, I ended up closing that deal, right? So that brings me back to fear. You know, if I had the fear of failure, I would have never started in the first place. You know, I wouldn't have been willing to wait that two years or however long that it was going to take to close that first deal. But I stuck with it. And I was blessed and I was fortunate to end up closing that deal. So... On the topic of fear, I, I, I want you all to look at it this way. This is how I've looked at it. You know, if you have a fear of starting your business, right, it's okay to embrace that fear and to understand that fear. You know, acknowledge it. Know that it's there, right? But if you let it stop you from starting your business and, to, and from starting or asking that person out or applying to that job or whatever you're trying to do in life, if you let fear stop you from doing that, then you're basically stating that you're okay with where you're at, Right. For example, for me, if for me, I, I really want to build multiple sources of income and I don't want to have to rely on one particular source of income. Right. So if I let fear get in the way of me starting the YouTube channel, of me starting a business, 
for me starting from doing whatever else that's going to generate, you know, multiple sources of income and, you know, let that get in the way of me helping so many other people who are in the same situation as me, then I'm basically saying that I'm okay with where I am, right? Like, I'm okay dealing with the same things I'm dealing with every day and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not bringing on change, right? So look at it that way. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're going to let fear just stop you, then you're basically stating that you're okay with where you're at, right? You're not really ready to make that move. I mean, I had to understand that, right? I had to go through a lot of things and and for, you know, I'm not trying to get religious, but I had to go through a lot of things for God to show me like, hey, if you don't take this jump and start doing, you know, your YouTube channel, start your own business or whatever else that you're trying to get into, then you're basically just saying like, you're okay with where you're at right now. Like you're basically stating that you, your, your fear of doing, or your fear of getting uncomfortable is going to keep you where you're at. Um, and if you're okay with that, then that's fine. But you, you can't really progress if you're going to let fear stop you, right? So again, just acknowledge fear. Just know that it's there. Um, embrace it. And at the same time, do it anyway, right? So I'm creating this YouTube channel. Believe me, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm still nervous as we speak. But I have to understand that if I want to take my life to the level that I want to take it and to also help other people take their lives to where they want to take their lives I have to get over this fear right because no one is going to get over this fear for me except for me so that's how I look at fear just embrace it know it's there and just do it anyway because ultimately if you don't if you let it stop you and you keep procrastinating you're just basically stating that you're okay with it right you're okay with being where you're at still you're okay with not making progress and not achieving your goal Right. One of my regrets would be to, you know, two years down the road, I wasted two more years of my life not going after my dreams because I was scared. Right. Um, then I'd be 34. Um, what if I did that for another 10 years? Then I'd be 44 and blaming fear for the reason why I'm not where I should be 10 years from now. So just think about it that way and know that it's, it's, it's never too late. It's never too late to get started. Um, I heard Steve Harvey say, you know, as, as long as you wake up that next day, that's an opportunity to excel. That's an opportunity to change. That's an opportunity to work towards what you're working or what you want to work towards and what you want to achieve in life. So just think about it that way. Um, don't be afraid of fear. Embrace it. And don't be afraid or have the fear of failing, right? If you fail at something, you learn from it, right? I had so many appointments when I was trying to wholesale a property so many rejections, but I didn't quit. I kept advertising, kept going on appointments, kept building relationships, and eventually it paid off for me. So that's what I wanted to tell you all today. Um, that's something that, I, like I said, I realized not too long ago that I gotta, I gotta do it. Like I gotta embrace fear and just keep going. So hopefully, this video, you know, gives you a light, you know, makes your light bulb go off and helps you overcome fear and gives you a different pers perspective of it. Right. So. Um, you all have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments, just tell me what is your fear of, right? So if it's fear of, like I said, asking somebody on a date, taking that leap of faith to start your business, whatever it may be, just put your fear of in the comments. So uh, yeah, everyone have a great day and I'll see you next video.